Moshi Simser is, is one of the most gentle and sincere, most passionate and compassionate men I've ever met. He's here for one reason, and that's the kids. And he pours that into the volunteers. He pours that into the kids. So you just have to be here to see what happens. Dr. Simser, he's one of the most amazing people I've ever met. He always has time for everybody in this camp, including his volunteers. And he's a wonderful person. He is so loving, so kind. He has a big heart. He is awesome. He really is. He gets in here. If you didn't know he was a doctor, you wouldn't know it. He's always there for us. He's not only our, our director, but he's also like a father figure to a lot of us. He just makes all this possible. And he does this for the children. And he was the first one who decided here in Florida that these kids can go home. They can live at home. They don't have to be living at a hospital. The idea of the program was to rescue these children who have spent most of their lives in the intensive care units. The, many years ago, we started discharging them home. So they were living in the house, and the house looked like an intensive care unit. And uh, 19 years ago, we have the idea, we, we sent regular kids to camp. How can we improve the life of these children? So the idea came about that period of time in which we started with a few kids and the families, and we find out that those kids liberate them themselves, plus the parents lost the fear of being supervised 24 hours a day by a nurse or by a physician. The purpose of this camp is to teach the families that their kids that are ventilator dependent can have regular ex life experiences like going to the pool, going swimming at the beach, going to restaurants, interacting with other kids that are normal. Every single one of them is it's capable of doing a lot of things. It's just you got to figure out what you can do with them. But everybody needs to be given a chance, whether they're on a wheelchair or not. He has tried to include every child he can possibly include into this camp and do the most he can for each child, and it's just wonderful. He comes in and he plays with the kids. He makes them feel like they're the most special thing in the world, but he has a heart that is just incredible. He gets out there and does water gun fights with them. He does whatever they will do, he will do also. He's someone with an incredible passion to let kids be what they want to be. Uh, he isn't someone that just goes by the book and says, oh, we're not going to try this because it might not work. He says, let's see if it can be safe, it can be enjoyable, and if it is, then you try it. And he makes, makes it work. We start doing things that were out of the normal um, medical community, like we start swimming with these kids that have never swum before. And we find out that they enjoy it, and uh, we start more activities. Like to, today, we spend the time sailing, and you have to imagine the need of transporting batteries and equipment into a boat and have a regular life like every other kid in this community. Well, sailing, it's a tremendous experience because not only can the kid sail by himself, but he or she can take her family and friends out on the water, too. This is really the only opportunity that he has to go and do things that other kids do. If she didn't have this camp, if she had never gone to this camp, I don't think her life expectancy would be that long because this camp and camps like this have changed the way she thinks about life. We look at these kids as our brothers and sisters, our best friends, our, our pals for the rest of our lives. And that's all because one man had an idea. It changes everybody that's here. It's a very safe and loving place. It's everything that these kids need. He looks at these kids and makes them believe that they can do and be anything that they want to be and that there's no limitations. The handicapped kids, he, they're, they just, they adore him. They just adore him. My idea is that I would like every state to have one of these camps because many of these kids are still in the hospitals or in chronic facilities for rehabilitation. And the fastest rehabilitation we can see is in the normal life uh, activities like the camp.